And with such a fall, I, I, I waked out of my dream. What? Why then? This is all but a dream? Yes. Uh, 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 and dream! Why, sir? Uh, a dream. You have not said it was a dream. Could such a strange encounter be other than such? To be sure, it could not happen with credence in the playhouse. It is a wonder to observe such wit from one so ordinarily witless. <laughs> this is wonderful. A dream it was for certain. But is it not strange, husband, that this gentleman should dream a lady who would behave so alike as to how you instructed me? I would warn that's odd, would you not, know, Albany? Truly, sir, I wondered all the while how the story would end. It was so pat to our intrigue. Truly, why? I knew not what to think on it until I heard it. Twas but a dream. Well, sir, I must beg your pardon if I have made you a cuckold. How, madam? But twas in a dream, sir. Oh, so sweet a dream. I wish I could dream it a thousand times over. I can almost fancy that I'm in a dream still. Me thinks it feels more like a dream than the other. She's <laughs> here and please you, sir. I, I bid you all good night. I'll say stand by. Speak to your further concerning this unlikely dream. Wait for on this chest as my wife. And we shall take a drink together. <laughs> Welcome home, Uncle Husband! <coughs> How dare you neglect your duty to me? Your husband and dare to bed! But I did not neglect my duty! Why went you not to bed? How? Oh, but I went to bed to learn my duty! Did I not teach you what you were to do? But he taught me a better duty than that you showed me! <laughs> Great he. <laughs> what he? What he is this? He that came before the fire and asked me why I walked so. And when I told him, he said that was but the first duty of a wife, and that he would teach me all the rest of the nightly duties, and that you <laughs> set himself to do. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 